here's a video review for Masterminds Creations MMC uh, R016 uh, reformatted anarchists, uh, their version of Kaon from the Decepticon Justice Division. And you can see he is an electric chair on treads, he's a little roving electric chair. And in this mode, he doesn't have a whole, like, you can adjust the seat depending on which figures you've got in there. Um, he's got little shock towers, electric towers. Uh, he's got these little grabby arms on each side. And of course the, uh, the head cap here. The treads don't roll. I don't think anybody expected that really. But you can see he is a electro share. You can, <laughs> this is the fun part. I've got Megatron here because why not? Since that's who they're currently hunting. But uh, you can fit lots of different characters in here. Let's show you. We'll put Megatron in. We'll grab him with the arms and we'll drop the little cap down onto his head. Oh no, oh no, Megatron is on trial for betraying the Decepticon cause. <laughs> oh, you can fit a lot of MMC's other figures in here. Uh, all of the art versions of their Azalea mold will fit in there. Um, works with a lot of deluxe class figures. Maybe some small Voyagers could fit in there. But mo mostly, like, small to large deluxes will fit in, the, in him as a chair. Which is pretty cool. Uh, he comes with, uh, as usual, his standard window box and comic and bio card and instruction booklet. A neat little comic in there explaining how he came into the service of the. Oh, I can't remember what they're what they're called in the uh, MMC universe, but the uh, Eliminator Reparations Division, the ERD. Um, but yeah, so there he is in chair mode. See his gun stores back here. It pegs in here in between his shoulders. He has a secondary scorpion mode, which is actually kind of cool. So we'll go ahead and pop these two halves off. And pop his gun out from back here. And to get to scorpion mode, you're kind of ha it's kind of halfway between chair and robot mode. You want to unpeg these from the side here. Right, come on off. There we go. So you can bring the legs down. Gonna fold these up. Just kind of lift this up a little bit. Lock the arms in place. Actually, I guess you're just gonna fold those up as much as you can here. And then fold this under. Flip that forward. That's kind of the singular eye of the scorpion here. Fold this up. Fold these to the side. The treads. I'm going to bring the legs down. The treads snap in half. One side folds to the inside. And there's also little hinges here. Uh, you can see there's a little swivel piece in there because you got to swivel this around and make it shorter like that. And then rotate it there. And then there's a little peg right here on the inside that this pegs onto. And it'll be the same thing with... Uh, With this side, you want to kind of collapse it in on that hinge and then peg, peg it on like that. And the foot should just go in between there. Now, there we go. There's a lower peg on there that needs to peg on. There we go. There we go. So peg all that together. Foot down. Bring it around. Again, unhinge the, uh, unsnap the outside, bring it down and around and up like that. Fold it all the way in and peg it on right there. And then on this side, use the open piece to collapse this in and up and around like this. And then peg that on to both the top and there's a little gray peg on the lower foot piece that needs to line up and peg in there. There we go. So peg all that together. Flip out this little heel piece that's going to be part of the claw. So you've got this right here. These come straight out to the side and rotate so these can rotate forward to make the uh, 
scorpion claws, and then the front toe part flips around. I think you could leave the front toe part as it is to make a claw, but you bring that around like that. And then same here, flatten the leg, bring it up and around and out. These don't stay flat. Now these should fold up like this. And then uh, twist the leg, bend it in, break the claw, break the claw. Tail comes back like this. Bring this piece forward, at which point the gun, using that little peg, pegs in up here to form the scorpion tail. And then the legs, to simulate legs, tab back onto here. And getting him, getting him in the proper way. It's a little bit of a pain. Because like you can see there's a little tab there for how they hook together. So you want to make sure that gets out of the way. You may have to flip the legs over in order to get them to stay. You have to rotate the legs around this way. Uh, so that tab doesn't get in the way. And then you tab that onto the side here. Come on. There we go. Okay, okay tab, tab it in so it's for a little further back. I think I've done messed something up here, but oh right, this whole piece. That's why right. bring this down like this. There we go. Then you bring these around, and then you put the legs back here. So collapse. Take the the chair piece and fold it down like that. I knew I was doing something wrong. That puts the legs at the back, brings the claws to the front, and makes a much cooler scorpion. So flip those around once again, and peg them on. There we go. And there's this scorpion mode. Then on to robot mode. Pop the gun off, pop these off, now you just, instead of moving this piece, you just collapse this whole chair up until it clicks. Make sure these are folded down to the side. Lift this piece up and get his head up right here. There's a little tab to flip his head up. Turn it around. Fold that piece down so it now goes in the back. Like that. Bring his legs down. Flip his feet forward. Uh, rotate the toe around and then collapse this whole foot piece in like that. Flip the heel out. That makes it much more stable in robot mode. Again, this piece that was hanging out like this, collapse it all the way in. So that hinge ends up inside the red piece. Flip the toe around and the backpack folds up like that. This piece comes up, collapses onto his back and that piece folds down behind his neck. Stand him up. Make sure the legs are all straight. Bring his arms down. You can angle these out to the sides here. Make sure the torso pieces plug in. And there he is in robot mode. Now you can flip this down and give him a handle and give him a pistol, but before we do that, these pieces connect together. You can see there's some red eyes here, so flip the legs back around this way. And you can take this and peg it in and give him kind of a little walking drone gun, which is cool. You can have him, he's kind of got a little pet. It's not the, uh, it's not the Turbo Fox or whatever he's got in the, in, in the, uh, in the comic, but he does have a little weaponized pet there. Outside of that, you just pull the gun off, flip that handle down. He can hold his pistol in his hand. And then this can fold up like this. And there's this little tab right here can peg onto his arm. 
and you can store this on his arm. Some kind of shield or melee weapon, but it can also convert to that spider drone. I guess not really a spider since it's only got six legs, but a little walking gun drone. And there's Kaon in robot mode. He's got a ball joint at his neck. Um, he's got dual hinge shoulders here. He's got dual hinged elbows, both up here and up here. He does have ball jointed wrists. He's got a ball jointed waist here. Um, these little panels rotate. He's got dual swivel hips. He's got a swivel right there above the knee. And he's got the knee hinge. And his feet do have some ankle tilt uh, a little bit due to transformation. Um, you can tilt the toes a little bit. And of course, because of all that, uh, the way that these transform, he's got the flat back here and a little bit of toe articulation and it can go up as well. And real quick size comparison with a teammate. Uh, here he is with Cynicus. So you can see he's a lot, a lot larger, a lot more solid, a lot chunkier than uh, Cynicus was, but that makes sense because Cynicus is supposed to be small and spindly. And uh, there he is with with uh, Anarchus. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to Coulter, uh, their version of Tarn, and maybe we'll get the other two, but. Once I have Tarn, I'll be happy. I would love to get the other two DJD members, uh, uh, Tesseras and Helix, uh, and see what they can uh, add to the team. But uh, these two guys right here are pretty cool. So yeah, there is a reformatted R16 from Mastermind Creations, uh, Anarchist.